This is the book I did called Making the Invisible Visible. And I like the invisible. I'm very fascinated by the invisible and how what I do and artists and architects do is make we make the invisible visible. And then of course there's all the invi all, all the invisible none of us can see anyway. And then this book is um, read any good book any good book boots lately. I see I write the book and I draw it and I write and I make drawings eight and a half by eleven. One I make a bunch of them and then I put them together and they turn into books. So I started doing that about in the nineteen eighties, nineteen nineties. I started making everything eight and a half by eleven because it was easy and I could keep the house clean by not having a made mess and um, it was easy to print them out. And then I would make series of drawings and then eventually they turned into Green Architecture in the Agrarian Garden. That was my first book that Rizzoli published and then there was Good Morning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, California. And then I started doing these. Now they're getting more and more to be art books. Here, this is Women, Women's Liberation. The only way to make a buck. Here, this is Utopia Myopia, a book about utopias, ar architectural utopias, and and all. Here's Sea Ranch is a utopia. I did the I started doing the super graphics at Sea Ranch. And those, of course, are enormous, and those I would do directly on the wall. I mean, I was trained as a painter, and, I, and up there I just painted the walls. This book is interesting now only because I, I did this Z for Zoetrope and now, now and then I did a whole alphabet which is now on um, exhibition. Well, you were in Scottsdale, so you saw it, the, the alphabet. And, um, and now I'm doing two books upstairs where I'm just drawing the alphabet crazier and crazier. And because I've studied so much uh, linguistics and philosophy at Berkeley, I, I put that together with the fact that I could letter because I studied that with Armin Hoffmann and Ruder and Basel at the Kunstgewerbeschule. And so I put that all together and the last two books I'm working on now are uh, about words and alphabet and the language and how the letters look, how they're really just shapes and can be very abstract. This is my first book. This is an autobiography that I suppose you haven't read, which would, if you would read it, you'd know all about me. Uh, this is Why and Why Not. That's the kind of lettering I learned in Switzerland. This is eight drawings that say exits, E-X-I-T-S, exist, E-X-I-S-T. And that was the basis of my show at um, LAX Art. And now as soon as the museums open again, it, it will be at the Graham Foundation in a much expanded version of it at the Graham Foundation in uh, Chicago. This was my green rectangle period. I did a lot of green rectangles. And... Oh, this is a, 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 this is a sea ranch. It's a, um, it started out as a very um, idealistic project, which, you know, like this drawing is very sincere. Waves, W, A, V, E, E, S. And then I, it ended up I call this Temple Rentals is sort of a um, visual acronym, Temple Rentals. It, it ended up being a, a very kind of swanky place for rich people to, who, to buy land, California land. And um, you know, here's some drawings of women tied in knots. And here's some, like playing with 
why may may not not this was the beginning of my playing around with the language and the look of letter forms I I've gotten much more abstract in doing whole books of it dogs laugh at questionable ways Oh, that's Armin Hoffman and his wife, Dorley. This is a von Bartha catalog, their 50th anniversary in Basel, Switzerland, and they've invited me to join that gallery. And I'm having a show there in Switzerland in March. And this is a book of, you know, that they just put out for the 50, their 50th anniversary. And this is... Uh, my page, this is a show I did in LAX art, and this is a drawing that I did where I use words. It's eight and a half and 11. It, it's, they just superimposed it on, on the uh, photograph of the show. They weren't made to go together, but they sort of go together. This is a, a show in, uh, that I'm in right now. They op had an opening, and then the t two days later, the government made them close it in Triennale in Milano. We speak on the phone all the time. I have a call tomorrow, no, Thursday, that I'll, I'll talk to him about a new project that we're gonna do in San Francisco and London and uh, their gallery in um, the Engadine near Samaritz. But um, this show of, of um, Enzo Mare that was curated by Hans Ulrich, I did, um, this drawing, of, I used letter forms as an art wall. I mean, this is Florida's you know, huge Enzo Mare's initials, E, M, and it's painted very large on the wall there in Milano at the Triennale. I have a degree in history and philosophy from Berkeley, so a lot of those books up in back of me are from that. And the, those whole, whole, those, that whole top section there is books about landscapes. That's when I was writing Green Architecture and the Agrarian Garden about all the landscapes in uh, England and France and Italy. Green Architecture and the Agrarian Garden. I did that for a Zoli book. And I, and I taught landscape at Harvard and Yale and uh, Berkeley. I recently did a, a big super graphic mural on the art wall at Berkeley at the Berkeley Museum of Art. And uh, I have photographs of it. Be super graphics is somehow like graffiti. You do it and then somebody just paints it over. Nobody has any respect for it because it's sighted. It's not considered art, except that now it is considered art. It's very complicated using letter forms. This is about Ditto and it's it's all about see this this was in my show in um, LA LA X art there the last the big wall at the end of the studio end of the uh, gallery I left perfectly white and then just put some of the quotes around nothing around the invisible. So this is a book about, but you can see I use lettering a lot, the letter forms. This is going to be published here in a limited edition. As a, as a writer, I write on the computer, and but I write so that it, as a typographer, I, I set the type as I write the, as I, as I write, make up the words, as I write the words. See, this is a restaurant I did in San Francisco. I used the name of the restaurant, N-O-M-M-O. -M -M -O. See, here, here's what I write, when I write, I write yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but I write in the in in the columns, Pikeowitz, 
or two and a half inches, three inches of pica width, something. As I'm, as I'm, it's a funny way to write, but it's the way I write because that way I don't have to, I just save time. I write it down, I print it out, I paste it up, and it's ready for the, to go to print it. See, that's a, a design for, and I did these, these porcelain enamel things. That's this design of this box, but it's also the design of some porcelain enamel things that I, that are going to be made in Switzerland and sold as art. Porcelain enamel, five by five, six by six or something. That's the art wall at the Berkeley Museum of Art. But you can see it, it, the, 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 the art that I made totally relates to the architecture. The angle of the, of the stripes is, comes from the angles of the windows. And the, 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 the black stripes are all related to the stairs. And, and this all is related to, the, to the, this angle. And then it's all related to the, this wall, and then I, this is another wall. And usually they don't use that wall, but I used it. And um, you can see it's it's all. That's why what I do relates to architecture is because I do it totally related to the architecture. And that boat is, you know, like like the white uh, superstructure is like Cabousier and with a white stripe, it's like I would design the boat. It's a, you know, it, it couldn't be more fitting to, to show with my works. It's the same vermilion and the white modernism of the superstructure, which he used as, as a, as a, he got ideas for his architecture from that, those white super shepherd, uh, superstructures on boats.